Okay, guys, Grandma Shannon again, and we are still reading this book on reptiles and amphibians. And right now we are talking about snakes. And this particular snake is called a rat snake. There are many kinds of rat snakes, but they all eat mainly rodents, which is stuff like mice or rats or hamsters. This means a rat, oh, let's see, all rat snakes are constrictors. This means they wrap themselves around their prey and squeeze it to death. Sounds uncomfortable. Field notes. Rat snakes are excellent climbers. They can scale up tree trunks using only the bark to grip on. Look at that. That snake is climbing a tree. Where to find them? Rat snakes live in wooded and rocky areas. You can sometimes find them in the swamps. And here they are. See the orange areas where they live. So they can they live in the southeastern United States and up in even up here in the New England area. What to look for? Rat snakes can grow between 30 and 95 inches long. 95 inches is let's see, that'd be eight feet long. So that'd be as tall as like from the floor to the ceiling of your house. Okay, color. Rat snakes can be yellow. Orange, red, green, brown, gray, or black. Usually they have dark stripes or patches. See, this one's got stripes. This one's got little kind of pattern on it. Other features. The young have spots or patches. Behavior. When rat snakes vibrate their tails in the dry, gra dry grass, they sound like rattlesnakes. The red rat snake is also known as a corn snake. They must live in cornfields. I bet there's a lot of rats in cornfields. I would think if you had a cornfield, you would want to have rat snakes in there because they would protect your corn. Okay. King snake and milk snake. These snakes are not venomous. Milk snakes look dangerous because their colors are bright, a warning sign that a snake is poisonous. Where to find them? King snakes and milk snakes live wherever there are logs, rocks, clumps of plants to shelter under. Well, most of the United States. What to look for. Size. King snakes can reach up to seven feet long. Milk snakes are smaller. Colors. King snakes are brown or black with paler lines and speckles. Milk snakes have brown and red patches and black borders and white of yellow with black borders and white or yellow in between. So this one would be a king snake. This would be a milk snake. And see, this is a picture right here of a coral snake, which is a poisonous snake. And this guy kind of looks like him. That's why people are afraid of him. Okay. Other features. The snakes have smooth scales. Behavior. They often vibrate their tails if they're alarmed. This California king snake has bands, but... Some California king snakes have stripes like the ones on garter snakes. And I'm sure we'll get to garter snakes. We have those around here. Field notes. Some milk snakes look like venomous coral snakes, so predators avoid them. Okay, but see the milk snake has the bands of black on both sides of the yellow. Where this one has black, then yellow, then orange. And that's how you're supposed to be able to tell the difference. Generally speaking, if you're not sure if a snake's poisonous or not, just leave it alone. All right. Pine, bull, and gopher snake. These three snakes are closely related. Pine snakes live in pine forests. Gopher snakes eat gophers. Now, gophers are pretty big, so I bet those guys are pretty big snakes. And bull snakes are big and bold like a bull. Now, I don't know if you guys here in Wyoming know, but bull snakes look a lot like a rattlesnake, but they will actually eat rattlesnakes, and they live in this area. So, bull snakes are actually very good. Where to find? Pine snakes live in the east, bull snakes in the Midwest and the West, and gopher snakes on the West Coast. So, but the bull snakes are the ones that live in our area. What to look for? These large, powerful snakes can be between three and nine feet long. Nine feet long. So this is a thing that's going to be longer than your car. 
These snakes are white, yellow, tan, or gray. Dark patches are reddish brown or black. Occasionally, they are striped or solid black. Other features, they have very small heads in comparison to their size. Behaviors, they all feed mainly on mammals. So these are snakes that are going to eat prairie dogs, they're going to eat rabbits, they're going to eat mice, but they also do eat other snakes. A gopher snake coils and prepares to attack its predator. Field notes, these snakes have special throat flaps that produce loud hisses and scare off enemies but they don't rattle. Okay. The ring-necked snake. He's kind of cool looking, isn't he? The necks of ring-necked snakes are often ringed with yellow or orange. To avoid being eaten by predators, some ring-necked snakes release smelly fluids the skunk or that other turtle we read about earlier. Others pretend to be dead. Hmm. Ringneck snakes live in moist, wooded, or open countryside across much of North America. So, but it's more in the eastern area. I don't think you're going to find those in Wyoming, but they do also have them in California. What to look for? They're 10 to 25 inches long, so they're not really big. They would be you know, maybe as long as your arm, maybe smaller. Their backs are gray, brown, or black. Their bellies are yellow to red or yellow with red towards the tail. Other features, the ringneck snakes are the smallest snakes mentioned in this book. Behavior, they often come into gardens around houses that are near wooded areas. And those kind of snakes eat pests, so you don't want to get rid of them. Some ringneck snakes coil their tails, and startle attackers with a flash of the brightly colored underside. Field notes. Ringneck snakes spend most of their time under rocks or pieces of rotting wood. A garter snake. Now those are the most common snakes. We definitely have those around here, but they make good pets. They're friendly snakes. Many people keep garter snakes as pets. See, told you. They rarely bite humans and feed mainly on worms, fish, and amphibians. They give birth to live young instead of laying eggs. Now, when they say they give birth to live young, that actually means that the eggs hatch inside them and then they let the babies come out. They still have eggs. They just keep them inside till they hatch. Thousands of garter snakes will spend the winter in a limestone pit or deep crevice. And they do that around here too. Where to find Garter snakes live anywhere from grasslands to woodlands, but they are never, but they are usually near water. So they'll usually live near, near a river or something like that. But that's why a lot of times they live near people's houses because people water their lawns. Size. Garter snakes grow up to 50 inches long. So 50 inches long is less than five feet. So it wouldn't be as long as your dad is tall, but they're still pretty big. But usually they're not that big. They are usually dark with two or three light stripes, but some have no stripes at all. Other features. In the wild, a garter snake's stripes blend into the background. Behavior. If you handle a wild garter snake, it may release a smelly fluid that is meant to frighten off its enemies. A garter snake's coloring is usually a pattern of yellow, cream, or orange stripes on a dark background. Hey, water snake. There are many kinds of water snakes. All are excellent swimmers and can stay underwater for a long time. They have keeled or rough scales and give birth to live young. There's a diamond back, there's a brown, there's a northern, and there's a red bellied. Water snakes have many different colors and patterns. Here are just a few of them where you can find them. You can find water snakes on the edges of lakes, ponds, swamps, or slow-flowing rivers. Size, they're 20 to 71 inches long. So 71 inches is pretty long. That's going to be, you know, as, as tall as your dad. Young water snakes can be plain red, green, or brown. 
or they can have patterns. Older adults often are dull colored. Other features, they have heavy bodies and thin tails. Behavior, water snake is cornered or caught. It will bite and release a foul smell. So even though they're not poisonous, they can bite you. People often mistake water snakes for venomous water moccasins. I'm just gonna say, if you see a snake in the water, probably best just leave it alone. Because even if it's not poisonous, it could still bite you, which doesn't sound like much fun. And this guy is called a hognose snake. A hognose snake uses its shovel-like snout to dig up toads and frogs from in their burrows. In defense, the victim may inflate itself with air. Then the snake will puncture it with special large teeth. So, frogs and stuff can blow themselves up to be bigger so they can't be swallowed. But this snake can actually pop them. That's kind of funny. Hognose snakes live in dry, sandy areas in much of eastern and midwestern North America. Now, I've never seen them around here, so I don't know. They're 14 to 45 inches long. So the biggest ones would get to be, you know, the size of maybe a seven-year-old. So that's not too bad. Color, they're yellow, reddish brown, gray, or olive green. Usually with darker spots. Sometimes they are solid black. Other features. They have short, heavy bodies with wide, flat heads and necks. Behavior. They are most active in the morning and evening because midday is too hot. If in danger, a hognose snake may hiss and spread its neck to make itself look bigger. Field notes. When frightened, a hognose snake may play dead. It lays on its back with its mouth wide open. See, look. I've actually seen videos of them trying to flip a snake like that over. They're pretty funny. All right, we're going to stop right there.